All right. Suppose we have a uh, monopoly, and the firm faces the monopolistic firm faces the following situation, where it has a demand curve here, implies a marginal revenue curve, looks something like this, marginal cost going up like this, and we have average total cost coming down like this. Um, and suppose we want to figure out this firm's profits, right? Assuming that they want to, that, that, that they're going to strive to maximize their profits, right? So if they're going to maximize their profits, that means that they want to choose the quantity where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, right? So if you look at marginal cost, here's the marginal cost curve, here's the marginal revenue curve. They cross at that point there, which, for which the quantity would be seven, right? So seven is the uh, profit maximizing quantity for this firm. Uh, and of course, if they're going to choose that quantity of seven, they will try to charge the highest price they can to sell that quantity. And that price would be $70, right? Looking up at the demand curve, if they want to sell seven units, then the highest price people would be willing to pay to buy that many units would be $70. So that's the price that the uh, firm would charge, right? So we charge $70 and the uh, quantity would be seven. Now, again, we're, we're trying to maximize the, or trying to find the value of this firm's profits, right? And if, if you think, if you remember back, uh, profits, uh, profit has this uh, formula for it. It's equal to the quantity times the profit per unit. And profit per unit is, of course, price minus average total cost, right? So uh, we have the quantity of seven. We know the price will be 70. Average total cost, when we produce seven units, right, average total cost varies. So we need to find the particular value of average total cost at that quantity of seven, average total cost is 49, right? And so uh, profit is seven, uh, seven times $70 minus $49, which happens to be seven times $21, which is $147. And that happens to be actually the area of this rectangle here because the, the vertical dimension of the rectangle, 70 minus 49, that is the profits per unit, right? That's this part, 70 minus 49. And then the horizontal dimension, that's the quantity, which is seven. So we have seven times $21 vertically. And that is the area of the rectangle, which happens to be equal to this firm's profit in this monopoly, right? So we're done. We found profit. And